Jay Paul, a lot of people ask about e-collars, or more commonly known as shock collars. What's your opinion on those, and, and do you use them? Um, you know, I get asked about electronic training collars, or as you just called them, shock collars, probably more than any other tool that we use in training. And the answer is yes, we do use them, and as a matter of fact, um, I think it's probably one of the most effective tools in training a retriever to a really high level that we have out there. We are able today to achieve levels of performance out of our dogs that 30 years ago when collar technology was just in its infancy, we never dreamed would be possible. The reason we're able to do that is because it gives us a tool where we can maintain our control of our dog at a wide variety of ranges. And today's collars are so refined, we're able to give minimal corrections to get maximum response. Um, Basically, when I think about a shock collar, I think about it just as another training tool. I prefer to call them an e-collar, and for me, you know, a leash, a flat collar, a, a training dummy, all these devices are just training tools. But probably the most effective tool of all is the e-collar. Now look, this e-collar, and as you can see, Ella doesn't mind it at all, and she's been trained in collar condition. Um, this is not a magic wand when it comes to dog training. You're not able to suddenly strap this thing on your dog and all of a sudden it's the Einstein of the retrieval world. You're also not able to put a collar on a dog and immediately get the response that you're looking for out of that dog. So while it is not a magic wand, um, it's also not a torture tool, but it is a tool that has to be used properly, just like anything else. Uh, and the dog has to be conditioned to it to get maximum response.